12 months on from the Russian invasion, the battle across Ukraine continues to rage on many fronts. None more fiercely than here in the eastern city of Bakhmut, where Putin's forces are desperate for a symbolic victory, ahead of their major spring offensive expected any day. Hardly a building here is untouched by the months of shelling and missile strikes. The life expectancy for troops on the front line around Bakhmut isn't measured in weeks or days, but in hours. Yet somehow, Ukrainian forces are continuing to hold out. As this embattled nation enters its second year of conflict, the toll on Ukraine's military and on its civilian population is unbearably grim. They are in desperate need of more aid. The US president's visit to Kyiv was the headline act in a chorus of world leaders in recent days lining up to proclaim their support for Ukraine. But the chair of the Commons Defence Committee says it's now time for those leaders to speed up their military support. We've been too hesitant to date to provide the necessary hardware. A year it took for us to pluck up the carriers to provide the, uh, the tanks. And now we're having the same debate about air power as well. We should recognise that this is about Russia. Standing up to Russia, Ukraine happens to be the theatre of war. President Zelensky could not have been clearer on his recent trip to the UK. He's desperate for Western fighter jets. For now, Rishi Sunak is only offering pilot training. Any move to supply highly complex kit, like aircraft, will not be quick, according to one former general experienced in logistics. And the longer it takes, the more advantageous that is for the Kremlin. When you provide this equipment, you have to provide all of the capability of sustaining it and operating it. The ability to deliver this capability that he's after now to conduct offensive operations is not easy and it will take a long time. And I'm not, for one, I'm not convinced that Russia is going to hang around and wait for all this stuff to arrive. It's going to conduct a major offensive to try and preempt the Ukrainian ability to conduct their own offensive operations. In Russia, Vladimir Putin has effectively put his military and the economy on a war footing, setting up factories to refurbish old Soviet era armour and massively stepping up production of munitions. There is no doubt, say analysts, that Moscow is in this for the long run. They're going to continue this pressure. Uh, and as I say, we collectively, I think, are going to, you know, we're going to struggle to, to enable Ukraine to hold out in this fight over the next uh, months, if not years. And there is another deeply alarming possibility on the horizon. US officials believe China, which has so far only provided non-lethal aid to Russia, may be preparing to offer weapons. Beijing says it has no such plans, but any move in that direction would be seen as a major escalation in this bloody conflict on NATO's borders. Mark White, GB News.